The Jimi Hendrix experience is over. The acid rock musician died today in a London hospital, apparently from an overdose of drugs. During his short career, Hendrix flailed his <clears throat> electric guitar into some of the most unusual sounds of an unusual music. A report now from ABC's Gregory Jackson. If you're much over 30, the odds are you never heard of Jimi Hendrix, or only dimly, perhaps a loud voice on the car radio. But take it for fact, in just the past four years, Jimi Hendrix became one of the best-known, highest-paid artists in recording history. An astonishing performer whose on-stage gyrations could make Elvis Presley look like a P.E. teacher. And it may well be that the story of Jimi Hendrix is a small picture of the overall explosive power and wealth of rock. The son of a Seattle gardener, James Marshall Hendrix quit school at 16, but before he was 20, he was touring the country as a backup guitarist for other rock groups. In 1966, a manager discovered him in a Greenwich Village bar, took him to Europe, formed a group, and just nine months later, Jimi Hendrix returned world famous. At rock festivals, Hendrix was paid $50,000 for a single performance. His album sold in the millions. He should have been a millionaire. It's not known whether he saved his money, but it is known that today, Jimi Hendrix is dead, an overdose. He was 28. This is Gregory Jackson, ABC News, New York.